Good day, good people, and welcome back to my channel. Now, today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I want to get into. But before we get into all that, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscription button. Hit that notification button and bell so you can be notified every time I'm dropping a video. Hit the like button, hit the share button, and as always, drop a comment in that comment section. Now, let's get to today's video. So like I said, in today's video, I'm not going to hold you guys for that long, but there are definitely some things that I want to get into. First, when we were talking about the situation with Miss Kalani. Now, Miss Kalani in 2019 welcomed a daughter with a gentleman by the name of Yovan or Jovan Young White. OK, now shortly after they had their child, they broke up. And if you know Kalani and you like paid attention to her career and even her lifestyle, you will kind of see that she's like a, a flower child. She's all over the place. She's bisexual. I thought at one point she was going to have children with, uh, uh, you know, gentlemen, two gentlemen, but just she take care of the child. I don't know. It was a whole bunch of stuff that's been going on. She's the same one who was, you know, telling us that basically she was going to unalive herself because Kyrie Irving had cheated on her. Like, listen, and then it was alleged that she was cheating on somebody we're party next door. So listen, it's a whole bunch when it comes to her like lifestyle and career. Now, we are talking about them today because the baby daddy, Jovan or Yevon Young White, and I know I butcher everybody's name. Y'all just work with me. I'm so sorry. But I have pictures and I had their names posted so that we all can know who I'm talking about. But this dude is like, listen, Kalani is tripping. She has been a part of a cult for the last couple of years. I, the cult leader has had S.A., you know, things bought up against them. You know what I'm saying? And Yovan is saying that he wants custody, full custody of him and Kaylani's daughter because he is fearful that the daughter is entangled into this cult in some type of way because of the mother. So he is asking the courts to give him full time custody. And honestly, like, this is what I think. Honestly, you have to be careful who you have a child with. Regardless if you a man, regardless if you a woman, you have to be careful. There's so many times where people be, oh my God, the women, you should be careful on who you have a child with. No, I be saying that stuff for the dads. Like, real talk. Y'all need to watch who y'all having children with. Because these ladies be out here just doing the absolute most. And you need to make sure that your child is protected. And you need to, like, if you, if you can't trust the lady... What makes you think that, you know, you're going to be able to trust your child being with this lady? It just ain't working out that way. And so, and my whole thing is too, I always said this, if you can't give the lady who's about to have your child, if you can't trust her with your social security number, or you can't trust her with a credit card or a debit card, the hell are you doing? Like, those are two vital ass, and I don't know what people are saying, oh, that's your social. They can run up credit. They can do X, Y, and Z. But let's not forget, this is a whole ass child that they're about to have. They can do worse with this child. They can cause damage to this child. They can use this child's social security and stuff like that. So if you have no trust with your partner or who the father or mother is of your child, you shouldn't even be having a child with that person. Real talk. So I feel sorry that he got himself in this predicament. No telling if he thought that, you know, it was going to work out with her. Maybe the child might help the situation. I don't know. But I know him coming out with these accusations and basically saying he wants full custody of his daughter because he thinks that X, Y, and Z is happening. And I pray to God that that's not what's happening to that baby. Children are innocent. They don't have nothing to do with their parents nasty and foul before lives that they had going on or whatever else they're trying to keep going on. So I'm hoping that... This is not true for this beautiful baby. And I'm hoping that, honestly, if they find anything wrong or anything shady in Kalani's little background or whatever, go ahead and give him custody of the child. Like, and we need more men like this to stand up and to step up. Because not 100% of the time it's the man that's messing up the child's life. This is the mother too. The mother can definitely mess up their child's life. Like for sure. Like take it all the way down to the gutter. 
It don't just be the men. And half of the time, the men are not even around in the child's life. So who, who are you blaming them? It's the woman. And no, I'm not trying to just bash women or whatever, but I really can't stand. Like, if this is, this is, we know so many people and have heard so many stories and have seen so many Lifetime movies and all different types of movies where instances like this happens with children who get caught up in their parents' perversion of some sort or want to be on some type of level of some sort and bad things happen to their child. Their child basically is sacrificed and offered up just for them to continue to do what they're doing. And if this is true, then I hope that this gets shut down. And I hope that he gets full-time custody of that baby because this doesn't need to be going down. And I hope that she gets in trouble too. If you want to be in a cult, that's one thing. But don't have your damn child around no cult unless you're a nasty, disgusting individual. And even with that being said, you need to have something done to you, brother. But it's obvious a lot of things be happening in this industry and in the entertainment industry as well. Because honestly, we've seen hella parents. And I'm going to just keep it all the way one. We've seen hella parents are just bad. What happens? Nothing. These parents still continue to be parents in the industry and continue to keep this nasty, disgusting cycle of of just non-growth disgustingness going. And I'm not sure what's going on with this, but God willing that that's not what's happening. I'm hoping that, you know, praying that this isn't what's happening because any individual that lets this happen to their child is a sick A and you deserve to get everything that you're going to get done to you. Y'all drop a comment in that comment section. Let me know what y'all think about all this. And I'm going to catch y'all in the next video respectfully.